<coughs> okay now we will the calculate the kinetic energy operator or derive a relation for the kinetic energy operator as we know that from momentum operator or the operator of from the equation of momentum operator equation of momentum operator we have minus iota h bar partial by partial x of psi is equal to p of x of psi like the operator minus iota h bar partial by partial x operate on this wave function we get the same wave function with a constant p of x so here this is the operator for the momentum now this is equation number one uh, this equation can also be written as psi partial psi or partial x is equal to iota over h bar p of x psi this is equation number two now differentiating equation equation one with respect to x we have minus iota h bar and then we have partial square psi or partial x square because partial or partial x is there if we again apply the differential operator then we have partial square or partial x square which is equal to p of x is a constant so the operator will apply only on this wave function partial by partial x now using equation this is let's say equation number three using equation two and three we have minus iota h bar partial square psi over partial x square is equal to p of x and partial psi over partial x is equal to iota over h bar p of x psi Uh, this can be written as now iota is here and iota is here both iota will cancel with each other so we have h bar partial square psi over partial x square is equal to p of x square over h bar psi I bring this h bar to the left hand side we have h bar square and there is a negative sign also here minus h bar square partial square psi over partial x square is equal to p of x square times psi <coughs> now divide this is equation number four divide equation four by 2m we get minus h bar square over 2m partial square psi over partial x square is equal to p of x square over 2m times psi and we know that p of x square over 2m is equal to the x component of kinetic energy here this represents the x component of kinetic energy because kinetic energy in x direction is 1 over 2 m v x square uh, if we divide and multiply by m we have m square v x square or 2 m in the above in the numerator this is p of x square and the denominator we have to m so the kind of x component of kinetic energy is p of x square over 2m 
so using this value and this equation we finally get minus h bar square over 2n partial square psi over partial x square is equal to kx square psi now this is an eigenvalue problem here we have 2m this is an eigenvalue problem we are for the kinetic energy eigenvalue problem for kinetic energy of a particle moving along x axis here minus h bar square over 2m partial square or partial x square is an operator k x square is an eigenvalue and psi of x over t is an eigenfunction so from this we can get the operator of kinetic energy kinetic energy operator kinetic energy operator along x direction is kx which is minus h bar square over 2m partial square over partial x square similarly along y direction we have ky operator so for operator we use the cap which is minus h bar square over 2m partial square over partial y square and the kinetic energy operator and z direction is kz which is equal to minus is bar square over 2m partial square over partial z square now in three dimension in three dimension 3d form we use the kinetic energy operator is minus h bar square over 2m del square where del square is partial square or partial x square plus partial square or partial y square plus partial square or partial z square and this is the kinetic energy operator in three dimensional form now we will calculate the total energy operator the total energy operator <clears throat> as we know that the energy of a particle moving along the total energy of a particle moving along x axis is given by its kinetic energy plus potential energy now kinetic energy is equal to p square or 2m and we suppose that potential energy is v of x which is a function of position using this values in equation 1 we get the total energy e is equal to p of x square 2m plus v of x the total energy of a particle moving in along x axis now multiplying this is equation 2 multiply equation 2 by psi of x over t we have e of psi of x over t is equal to p of x square over 2m psi of x over t plus v of x into psi of x over t 
this is equation number let's say three now we know that p of x square over 2m is equal to minus h bar square over 2m partial square psi over partial x square we did this here okay p of x square over 2m psi is equal to minus h bar square over 2m del square psi over del x square now using this using this in equation 3 we have instead of the e of psi of x over t is equal to instead of this we will put this one minus h bar square over 2m partial square psi over partial x square plus v of x psi of x over t or we can write it is like minus h bar square over 2m partial square or partial x square plus v of x into psi of x over t is equal to e into psi of x over t now this is an eigenvalue problem uh, eigenvalue equation for total energy of the particle along x axis this is eigenvalue equation for total energy of a particle moving along x axis now here we have this operator which operate on this wave function we get the same wave function with a constant e so minus h bar square over 2m partial square or partial x square plus v of x is an operator psi of x over t is an eigen function and e is the eigen value so we have these three quantities so the, therefore we can write the total energy operator is h which is equal to minus h bar square over 2m partial square over partial x square plus v of x or in three dimension three dimensional form the total energy operator is minus h bar square over 2m del square plus v of x where del square is equal to partial square or partial x square plus partial square or partial y square plus partial square or partial z square this is the operator this is the operator of total energy and is also known as Hamiltonian of the particle and is also known as Hamiltonian Hamiltonian of the particle so this is all about the total energy operator in the next video we will uh, we'll move to the operator for total energy in terms of differential with respect to time. Thank you.